Alright guys, so on the last tutorial we talked about retouching, Photoshop retouching um, to work on skin. But before I get to Photoshop, what I do is I take my images through a software called Adobe Lightroom. Um, in Adobe Lightroom, you're able to work on many images at the same time. Um, you can work on them very quickly. Uh, you can also work on raw images if you take your pictures with, uh, if you take your pictures in a raw setting in your camera, you can work on those as well. Um, and it allows you just to get through a lot of images very quickly, very efficiently. Um, when I do event photography, I use Adobe Lightroom and I don't even get take my images to Photoshop at all. I just use Adobe Lightroom and I get them um, exported right from there. So I just want to show you a quick and easy way to use that software just so you can get to it with your own photos. And um, this software works for everybody. It works for photographers, whether you're doing shoots or you're doing events. It works for makeup artists. It works for bloggers. I mean, just anybody that, even if you go on a trip, anybody that wants to work on images and works to, wants to work them, on them quickly and professionally. So I'm just going to get right to it and show you how to use Adobe Lightroom to get your images to look as great as possible. So the first thing you want to do for Lightroom is you want to make sure that all your photos are in the same folder. So I have the photo shoot set right here. The first thing you want to do is you want to open Lightroom. It's this logo right here. You want to click File, New Catalog, and look for your folder. I'm already in my folder. And um, you would create, you would name it. So photo shoot set tutorial, right? And then click create. And this is in the same folder where the photos are. So Lightroom will load that and create a new catalog for you. And this is where you're gonna work on all of your photos. So what you wanna do, your first step, first, first step for Lightroom is to import all of your images. So all the images that were in that folder, what I do is I click import and I make sure I'm in library over here, li library mode, because there's develop mode, map mode, book mode, but I want to start first in library mode and click import. What I do, it brings up kind of a source uh, search for your computer, but what I like to do is I like to go to my finder itself, select all, the all of the photos, so you can hit command A, hold down command and A, or you can just click and drag, and select all of the photos, and then drag all of those right in here. So as you can see, it brought some of them into, it brought the ones that I selected into Lightroom and I click import. Automatically that starts creating the catalog of the images that I'm gonna work on. And you can see them below. This is from a photo shoot I shot recently. And I go through the same process for all of my shoots. And the next step is I go to develop. Now, in develop is where I work on all of my edits. You can see some of the shots here. And what I like to do is just edit the, the colors a little bit before I get, before I take it into Photoshop and start my retouch process. So just to give you an idea of what's going on on the screen, you can see the image right here that we're working on. Image right that we're working on. Um, you can also see, um, a before and after view. You can do that to the left and right. So what I like to do, um, I look over here. These are where you, you're going to make all of your major edits. So here exposures are brightness, uh, darkness, brightness, darkness, how much light you let into the image. Put that right back at zero. Your contrast, as you can see, most people know what contrast does just from photo editing apps or any other editing app. It gives you the contrast between the brights and the darks. Um, here you get a little bit more control with that. So you can up your highlights, deepen your shadows, whites. So the, you can just see the different edits that you can do with these settings. Um, if you come to clarity, you get kind of this sharp, sharp look. Um, your vibrance and saturation kind of do similar jobs here. We can see the vibrance of the image. So I'm not going to go through every setting, but you can see how you can play, play around with them and kind of understand what they do. One that I do like to use, especially for events, is the curves. 
um, curves. This area of the curve is your darks. This area of your curve is the lights. So if I bring up anything over here, it'll bring up my highlights. If I bring it down, it takes them down. So you can just see what goes on over here. And all of this happens in develop mode. And um, then you also have different color settings and hues, saturation. Um, for instance, this dress has some yellow in it. So if I bring up the yellows, it'll make those kind of more saturated. Orange usually applies to skin. Um, so it'll do that. So that's just how you work on your images. Again, this will work for photographers. This will work for bloggers. This will work for makeup artists. Anybody that wants to work on their images, this works for you. Um, what I would do to this image, I would just up the contrast like I did here. I might bring up some highlights, bring down some shadows a little bit, up the curve, and I'll do a little bit of sharpening on the yellows, maybe a little bit on the reds because of her lips. And I'm happy with this image, and I can now take this to Photoshop. But what is neat and cool about Lightroom is that I can take the settings that I've applied here and copy and paste them over to another image. So what I do to do that is right on here, I already have the edits, and you can see by this icon below, I go up to settings, copy settings, and I'm, allow, I'm able to select which settings I want. Right now I have all of them selected, copy it, then I can come over to let's say this image, or this image, hit settings and paste settings, right? So it took the exact settings that I had in the first image and it pasted it on the second one. And then I can play around with that if I don't like it and just work on that. So that's really what I do in my workflow when I'm working on the images. Another thing you can do before you're ready to export your images and get them out to your client or out to Photoshop is you can come you can go through the images and kind of select which ones you want and which ones you don't want by a rating system. So Lightroom allows you to rate the images and I use that kind of to filter the photos that I want to be in my final export um, away from the photos that I don't. So for instance, I'll go through and I'll let's say I'll hit five on my keyboard, which set this rating to five. I'll come to this image, maybe I want this one, set it to five, maybe I want this one. Maybe I want this one. And then once I do that first, before I start working, I'm able to come to my to this filter area and filter by rated. So if I filter by rated, then I only see the images that I've rated. And I can go from there and start editing in this panel. When I'm done with all the edits and it's time to export, what I can do is select all of them. So click and then hit command and click or I can just hit command A or on a PC control A which selects all and I come up to file export and now I have this here where I can set the settings for my export I can come here go into the photo shoot set what I like to do is create a new folder and I'll call them like edited edited images Choose that. I'll leave these the same. Leave this. Leave this at 100 quality. And I'm in my resize. Usually I don't resize. I um, unclick that. Watermark. You can work on watermarks later. Or you can just keep it clean. And hit export. The export happens up here. And once that's done, your images are set to go. And you're ready to get them out to your client. Or you're ready to take them into Photoshop and do a little bit more work on them. So that's just a quick way and a quick intro to editing with Lightroom. Um, I'll do more and more edits with Lightroom and more and more tutorials with Lightroom to come. But for now, you have a quick foundation on how to work on all of your images with Adobe Lightroom. I hope you come back soon. Make sure you comment, you like, and you subscribe to the channel. Um, and I hope to see you again soon.